So this is a rack as you can see on the rack I have a UDM Pro, two UDM Pro. This is a primary UDM Pro, it's already configured running and this is a secondary UDM Pro I have added and I will configure this as a shadow gate. What is shadow gateway? Shadow gateway is high availability in any case when your primary UDM Pro gateway went down it will automatically fail over on the shadow gateway using high availability VRRP which is the virtual router redundancy protocol so in this video we will see how to configure shadow gateway high ability so to set up the shadow gateway as you can see it says click to set up so first what we need to do we have to connect the shadow gateway WAN port which is the port number 9 to the primary gateway switch port so I have connected the port 9 to the UDM uh, primary UDM port number 1 as you can see here on the screen it says plug in cable here and here it will detect the shadow gateway we will reflect the screen and see does it show up or not so right now it says uh, new sh shadow gateway detected do you want to click or set up or not now so i will click to set up so it will set up the shadow gateway right now it says sensing and on the screen you will see it, the shadow gateway sensing do not power off the devices so the shadow gateway is sync now as you can see here right now it says in sync and even on the screen it says shadow mode in sync synchronized just now so i will go back to the screen and click on enable automatic failover so here it will give you the steps what ports uh, cable you have to connect in between gateway so it says enable automatic failover step one of four switching to automatic failover requires that the cabling is adjusted on both the gateways do not disconnect the wan port of the shadow gateway so i'm i won't disconnect this wan port on the shadow gateway and i will connect the port 7 of primary gateway to port 7 on the shadow gateway so both port should be connected now so i will connect uh, the port 7 of primary gateway to port 7 of the shadow gateway and then here it says to click on verify i will click on verify and it says both the gateways are interconnected via port 7 so i'll click on next and it will set up a high availability because cluster and it takes several time so i'll come back once uh, high ability cluster is firm and then we will set up so high availability cluster is established as you can see on the screen it says proceed to the next step to adjust the cabling so now on the next it says you have to uh, do not disconnect port 7 in either gateway connect the shadow gateway van port directly to the isp the van cabling of the primary gateway so i will disconnect this port from the primary gateway and i will connect the shadow gateway to the isp and it says to mirror the cabling i click on next and i will connect the switch port on the shadow gateway okay so you can see here I'm connecting the shadow gateway switch port to the U switch port which is connected on the primary UDM Pro also. As you can see here, both the switch and the shadow gateway is connected now. As you can see here right now, it is showing connected as you can see here. And it says shadow mode ready to take over. So I will click on finish. So it says ready to take over and my terminal, I am running the ping on the continuous. So what I will do, I will disconnect the primary UDM Pro from the power cable and we'll see it will take over on the shadow mode or not. So let me disconnect the cable and you will see the ping responses. So I have disconnected the cable from the primary gateway let's see here it will take over on the shadow gateway or not it says 
fail over activating so let's see uh, how much time out it takes network online restoring unify so you can see it's hardly uh, it is taking some time out right now here you can see here request time out and it is restoring unify So you can see on the screen it says uh, shadow gateway failover is activated if you open the network and if you go to the screen you will see your dream machine is connected even your G3 flex everything is connected and G3 flex is also online and we go back to the unify protect and see does it show the current storage or not or not yes it is showing right now because uh, as of now uh, only the product storage is like if you want uh, I mean pre and post uh, footage is not available so I have to remove the hard drive from here uh, primary to the secondary shadow gateway to get it working so under the network you can see the Wi-Fi is working and all of the settings and everything has been connected on a shadow gateway here can see here the failover is already activated so if my primary went down yeah, it will automatically fill out the shadow gateway also here says changes made during failover are overwritten in the primary gateway reconnects to make permanent changes first promote the shadow gateway to primary so from here I can promote the shadow gateway to the primary so whatever changes I will made it will be permanent otherwise if my uh, primary UDM Pro reconnects so the changes will be overwritten so to, to make a changes permanent I have to promote the shadow gateway as a primary so this is how the high availability shadow mode works in the Unify UDM Pro even if UDM SE UDM Pro Max so this is very good features in your network I know this is very overkill for the home user but this is just for a testing purpose so the shadow gateway shadow mode high availability works with the UDM Pro as you see I have tested and everything looks good here even I get the internet connectivity so I hope you will like this video and if you like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions and thoughts you can comment